Good morning, guys. Welcome to our Grey House Vlogs. I'm headed my, headed, I'm on my way. I'm headed into, I was trying to say those, both things at the same time. Headed into get a hot chocolate from Starbucks inside Tom Thumb. And yeah, it's gonna be an awesome day. I've got a lot of things planned. I've got a lot to do today and this week. So let's get it started. I stopped by the house, but nothing had changed. Actually, Michael, the builders, one of the builders, um, he was there and he said nothing new to update. So the trim guy's supposed to be by later and uh, maybe I'll go over there if they let me know that he's there or I'll just go like at 9.30 or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm gonna go to the office, get some stuff done. I have a whole list of things to do. I'm gonna write myself a to-do list because I need to make sure I don't forget anything. I've got so much to do this week. Sounds so busy, so <laughs> I'm so busy. No, for real though, um, we're gonna have pictures next Monday. So I've gotta have the house ready or at least um, some major portions of it ready that would show in the pictures. And um, I've gotta do some things for my mom and dad. I've got some listings, I've got some buyers. Uh, lots of wonderful things happening. And so come along for the ride. I'm out at the house. I think I'm by myself, although I think the trim guy might be in the back. I can't really tell. Just kind of seeing what's going on. And, uh, yeah. Kind of, the trim guy is going to be putting stuff in. Let me show you the, let me show you the master bath. So here's the master bath. We have tile all the way up to the ceiling. And, of course, this decorative, you know, penny tile going around. Then we have a little corner seat. And this penny towel underneath this cardboard stuff. And then we have two like soap trays. We could put stuff on there. The water's gonna come out here. You turn it on right there. We're not having a door, although if it's cold or something, we may put up some sort of curtain, but right now we're just gonna have an open shower. Kinda liking it. There's no pictures in here, but there is a drawing on the wall. I can't really see it. But this is where a shoebox is going. And then they're putting the regular rods all the way around. In here, here's the living room. And, oh yeah, it is a trim guy. So we've got here a picture of what the fireplace is supposed to look like and then a picture of what our, uh, what do you call it, mud bench area is supposed to look like. And then they've got some drawings again on the board. Nickel got boards up there, shiplap style. And they're putting the mantle here. It's gonna be nine inches deep maybe, I don't know. Lots of uh, stuff. Lots of stuff on here. Drawings and such. More drawings. I told my builder, it kind of makes me like, just like, you're drawing, you're writing on a white wall, but hey, that's what they do. I forgot to tell my builder, but this right here was supposed to have tile all the way up to the wall, so that way we just have this open box underneath, so I don't know how they're gonna fix that, but. I guess they could just put more tile. Nobody would notice. Here's the pantry drawing that they have. We're gonna have just like some really like thin, not thin, thin, I don't know. Not very wide, narrow, that's the word. Come on, English is hard today. So they're gonna have some narrow shelves uh, down here. Then we'll have 12 inch shelves and 16 inch deep shelves at the back there, and then we'll have narrow shelves along here too. So we can put canned goods and such on each side, and then our larger stuff back there. And then in here, we're just gonna have five shelves. You can't really see this, but we're gonna have five shelves all the way across and then a line down between to kind of stabilize it because I'm putting like office material, office supplies type stuff on it. Oh, there's the guest bath, looking good. I like it. Marvin is like super worried that this tub is getting damaged, but I think it's fine. 
I'm gonna take a couple pictures for Marvin, and then I'm gonna head out because I don't know what the trim guys are doing, but it's not coming inside. Maybe they're eating lunch, who knows? But um, I'm not letting him in because if he doesn't know the code, he doesn't need to be in here. Unless my builder says, go ahead and let him in. I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's it for now. I'm gonna head to the bank and make the deposit for that HOA that I help manage. And then I'm going to get cat food because it's supposed to turn colder and I don't wanna go do that later because I'm showing a house later. So lots of stuff happening. Um, negotiations still going on about those other contracts that I'm working on. So I've gotten quite a bit done today. I got to the office, not early, but I got there early enough and I had a hot chocolate and I, I got the deposit ready for the HOA that I helped manage and I'm about to go make that deposit now. The trim guys are not inside. So I don't know if they're doing lunch, if they don't have a key, I don't know. If my builder wants me to let them in, I will, but they should have a code to get in. So I don't know, but I'm gonna take some pictures to send to Marvin so he can see the stuff that's happening. And yeah, it's kind of exciting seeing stuff come together. Still a little stressed, but it's okay and I'm gonna go get cat food. It's supposed to turn colder for like a night, and I just don't wanna go get cat food because I'm gonna go show a house later. I've got stuff to do, and yeah. I can't wait to move into my house though, I'll tell you right now. I'm so excited for um, Marvin and I to just like be here and enjoy it. One thing before I leave, the client that I'm showing some houses to, or a house to, I showed her last night, she was talking about like how much natural light comes in um, into the space. And I just, I like natural light, but I just didn't really think about it. So it's 1220 and this is a natural light coming into my dining room area. And this is, this side faces the south, the front door faces the north. <coughs> in my office area, there's plenty of light. I kind of think I should have done my my um, my office with this one because it has two windows, but it's already done. And facing the north is a good thing. Hey friends, I'm at PetSmart now. Got to get Captain and Socks some food. So I'm in PetSmart, and I cannot get eyes to stop watering. Because I'm allergic to two pets. Dander, pet dander, cat dander in particular. But it's okay. But like, see, my eyes just keep watering so much. So I got cat food. And I got two different flavors ocean, whitefish, and tuna entree. And the other one is like salmon, let's see what it is salmon and ocean fish entree because they like fish better, or at least Captain likes fish better. Uh, I think Sox will eat the chicken one, but it's not really one of Captain's favorites. I don't wanna buy a whole thing of it, and then him not really eat it, and then it just be like there. Um, I know he'll eventually eat it, because if you're hungry, you'll eat it, right? Right, am I right? Yeah, I am. So, anyway, I'm not gonna buy it. I just buy these two. And we have to feed them cat f kitten food until they're like a year old. And so that's gonna be a little bit longer because and now I don't know what to do because I can't really separate them. The captain is seven months old. Let's see. Okay. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Eight months old. And Socks is October, November, December, January. Three months old. So Socks is a little bit behind Captain. Not by much, but almost half a year. That's a lot. So we're gonna probably stay on kitten food for a little bit longer for Captain just because it'll be easier. But we're gonna transition them eventually to regular food. But yeah, okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go check out. If I have enough time, I'm gonna swing by JC Penney's because I do have a $10 off a $10 purchase and I don't want that to expire. It expires January 31st. So I'm gonna have to run by and do that. I also have to run by the post office and renew my PO box, but I won't have time to do that today for sure. And the trim guys are at the house putting, which you know, I knew you saw the trim guys were there earlier or going to be there, but they're actually putting in the doors. So that's kind of exciting and I want to kind of go see it. So I'm going to hurry and skedaddle and see what else I can get done. So I'm back out at the house again. Uh, the trim guys are here putting up 
doors and such. So I'm gonna go check it out because I'm in between showings. I just showed Brad and Kate a house. They really like it. I'm gonna go back and show them again at 6.30, but this time we're bringing Brad's parents with us or with them. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do now. Go in and see what trim is happening. Okay, I'm not sure how well you can see me. Let me try to, yeah, you can see me. <laughs> Fix my hair. So I'm in the house and obviously you can hear the trim guys working, but they put the trim on the door and there's like a door right here. And it feels like these are wood doors, like not just hollow door. Um, I mean, it feels still pretty solid. And let's see what else. There's a door to the bedroom right here. And I'm gonna go look at like my office and stuff and see how that's looking. And uh, this is the door to the laundry room. So you come in from the living room area, you can either go to the laundry room or that way to the bedroom, the master. And this is my office closet door. It's pretty nice. It's gonna be shelves in here. And then this is just gonna be a cased opening. So no door there, but this is gonna be a pocket door. They haven't put it in yet, but yeah. And then of course, that's the door to the vanity for the guest room. So looking pretty good. We have cleared out the living room of all furniture, living room kitchen area, of all furniture except for the couch because it's super heavy and it would be hard to move it into the garage. So we're gonna see if the guy that's coming tomorrow will do it. And I'm running out of battery and tired. Still have some work to do, probably about 30 minutes worth of work if I focus and get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the build journey it's getting stressful. It's getting towards the end. I'm not sure where <laughs> the camera ended because the battery died, but uh, it's getting a little stressful. I'm tired. He's tired, but it's all going to be over soon. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I have some work to do and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.